So there's two composers for the film, obviously. Des is our local composer, and uh, our other composer's uh, James Liebitter um, from Norway. Um, I, I always wanted to sort of have this duality in the soundscape where I wanted to sort of have a real raw, earthy, kind of Australian, sinister kind of uh, uh, feel to it, which is what I think Des brings a lot of, and that also have this dreamy component, um, sort of almost surreal element, which is uh, what James Liebitter brings, um, what he does so well, he, he, he writes amazing uh, ambient stuff. Steve's just jumped off the phone. He's just he's just told me the 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 um, the plot of the film over about forty minutes, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. So visualizing these scenes and these characters, and um, and the setting obviously, which was very important. So yeah, trying to capture the emotion and the setting in a piece of music, which is basically obviously the starting point. And I knew that the way that I write, the style that I write, it wasn't going to be cinematic, you know, Hollywood esque. It's just not how I write. I knew it was going to be rustic. So I was going to use simple sounds and uh, basically an overlapping of different um, sounds that probably wouldn't otherwise ordinarily belong together, but make mm. them belong together because you know you got these three boys that have no reason to be intercepting this life of this of this hermit man and and, and vice versa. So these all of a sudden you got these different sounds that are supposed to juxtapose each other just crossing over inadvertently, unnecessarily. Conversation would happen in pre-production versus while you're shooting versus strictly in post. It sort of came in waves. I mean, I would call Des up, get him inspired again, talk about a scene, a character, some of the themes. Sometimes he would just get inspired, jump on on, on his keyboard and and be thinking about a particular thing, and then just throw me the track because I'd be obviously editing the, the film as well. Um, and I would sort of just <clears throat> arrange it, maybe use some of it. Um, and just integrate it with some other tracks and some other things from uh, James, James Liebitter. Yeah. Um, and so that was cool. So it was, it, you know, it was, it was a big process of just trying different things. And my soul, it cries Because we could have paradise and my soul Paradise which is uh, the song <clears throat> that the main character Bobby sings uh, in the film, where he sort of, you know, he comes out for the first time, and he sort of, he sort of, the song is about where he views himself in, in relation to himself and the world, and and also how he views the world. Um, and it's it's quite a, an emotive sort of a song, and um, you know, it's sort of wrapped inside a documentary in which the two students are, are, are filming, you know, um, and it's a big turning point in the film. It's like, you know, there's something, there's something so much deeper to this character, you know, and so it's, it's quite poignant. 